Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM in a Dell Optiplex 745 small form factor. Let's get okay, started. So the first thing you need to do is pop this, just pull this lever, and your side panel will come off. Okay, so once you're at the front of your computer, as you can see, the front of your computer, you'll see this lever on the left side of your computer, assuming it's on the side where the DVD drive is up. You want to pull the lever and pull your actual DVD drive out and then pull the lever again and pull the floppy disk drive out and it should just come on out just like that. Okay so once you've pulled your DVD drive and your floppy disk drive out you'll see these four sticks. These are your RAM sticks and in order to replace two new ones which is what I'm going to do you can replace all four it will follow the same process. If you're going to put just two in you want to put the identical sticks which would be your new ones into the same color there will be a white tab over here and a black tab i can't you can't see it behind this uh cord here but there's a white tab and a black tab and a black tab and a white tab on the other side on both sides as you can see here now to take out a ram stick you want to pull back the tabs i'm just going to be using the black for one and your stick should pop out just like that same for the other one okay so once you have your new stick you want to just go ahead and set it in place my new ones are actually smaller than my old ones I will leave all the details to what RAM you need to get in the description and you may have this issue pushing it in I'm not sure but you have to actually push down and pu push the tab at the same time to install the RAM so push down and push the tab and it may feel kind of hard you kind of have to give it a push sometimes but, and then you'll want to do the same with your other stick. Again, going into the same color, it does not matter the orientation of the RAM stick. Oops, just dropped it. So you just want to set it in there, line it up, push on one side, and then push on the other. And if you're going to replace all four sticks, you would do the exact same for the white tab. The only difference is their color is white. Okay, so now that you've installed your RAM, you want to go ahead and grab your floppy disk drive, which if you stacked them like mine, should be on the top. And you'll want to look, you'll see these little cracks here on both sides. There'll be just a little crack here and crack there, and you'll just slide the screws into the crack, because you can see that one just went in, and then push it forward, and it snaps. So now once you have your floppy disk drive in, you should push your DVD drive in and you should be able to just push it down or set it down. It can be kind of tricky sometimes. You kind of have to work with it, but you just push it down like that and then you should be able to push it forward and it snap in just like that. Now your DVD drive is in. Okay, so now the last step is to grab your side panel and it should, these holes should line up with these tabs and you want to push it on and could also be kind of tricky if you're working from the opposite side of it, I guess. Should be able to set it on just like that and then push it down and it should snap in. And now the only thing left is to plug in your computer and you're ready to go. So thank you so much for watching this. Again, I will leave all the details to buy more RAM in the description below. And I might leave a link to buy more. I actually bought used RAM because it was $9.90 a stick and I actually didn't see any new RAM that fit my computer but I'll leave all the details down below so you can go upgrade your RAM if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.